I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the significance of pH in everyday life. All right, so pH is how we measure how basic or acidic something is, uh, and it's usually on the scale of 0 to 14. You can go higher or lower, but this is the typical scale. And 7 is special because this is neutral. And so if you just have tap water, generally that's going to be neutral. And that's our big example. That's why we have it right in the middle. That's where water is. Everything that's a smaller number is acidic. Everything that's a bigger number is basic. And so how does this relate to everyday life? Well, one, we're always interacting with water. That's neutral. And if you look inside your stomach, you'll actually find acids that are pH 1 or 2, so super acidic. And this is really helpful because when you eat food, you need to digest it, and a really strong acid can dissolve and break up and form new bonds with uh, lots of things. So if you have a bunch of burning acid in your stomach and you eat food, it will break it up and give you energy. If you didn't have any stomach acid, there'd be no way for you to get energy from the food you ate. Um, another good everyday example on the opposite side is bleach over at 13. So again, bleach is a really strong chemical, right? We only use it when we want very intense reactions to happen. Um, and it's so basic that once again, it can interact with lots of different chemicals very strongly and have lots of different interesting reactions happen. Um, so these are kind of everyday examples on opposite extremes. And so now, if we just look at a couple more, also at two is lemon juice. So a little bit is fine, but you wouldn't really want to hang out with lemon juice. You don't want it getting in your eye. It's pretty acidic. And so one last interesting example of everyday pH acidities is uh, baking soda and vinegar. And we all know from being a little kid that if you combine them, uh, it'll have a big reaction and it'll overflow your toy volcano. And it's actually because baking soda and vinegar have very different pHs. So vinegar is once again at pH 2. And baking soda is on the basic side at pH 9. So every time you are combining vinegar and baking soda, you're actually running a small acid-base reaction. And so it results in lots of foaming and lots of gas being made. Um, and that's why it has that cool look. So I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been Everyday Life Examples of pH.